All right, well, yeah, let's go. Let's do Pack of the Clones. Do that thing. I guess I got to read this now, like last time. In my narrator voice. Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. There is unrest in the Galactic Senate. Several thousand solar systems have declared their intentions to leave the Republic. The Separatist movement under the leadership of the mysterious Count Dooku has made it difficult for the limited number of Jedi Knights to maintain peace and order in the galaxy. Senator Amidala, the former Queen of Naboo, is returning to the Galactic Senate to vote on the critical issue of creating an army of the Republic to assist the overwhelmed Jedi. <laughs> All right. Senator, we're making our final approach towards Coruscant. So when you eat chips, do you eat it out of the bag or do you use a bowl? It depends on the bag. Depends so on the bag? If it's a small bag of chips, I just use the bag. But if it's like a fat bag of chips, I'll use a bowl. But let's say you intend to eat the big bag. Like, you know that in this sitting, you're going to eat the whole bag of chips. The entire big bag? Yep. I probably just use the bag then, I guess. Oh. Huh. See, I always ate straight out of the bag, no matter what. But then, I shouldn't have come back. Cat got me on like using a bowl. Now come. Well, I mean, my thought process is very specific in the sense where it's like, if I have like a big ass bag of chips, other people are probably also eating it. Yeah. So you know, I, like if I just take the bag into my room or something, they can't eat the chips, even if I don't intend to eat all of them. You know. I feel. Hmm. So, it's just, it's more, uh... Now let's take a transport to the Senate. See, the it's only more, people uh, that are... thoughtful to them to put some in a bowl and then leave right. the bag behind. But we're talking like a solo situation here. The only time I've had it mentioned, like, why are you eating out of the bag is with Europeans. I haven't had anyone else mention that. Yeah. Now, to be fair, other than that, 90% of the time I'm just eating out of the bag. Yeah. But now I'd, I'd get a ball. I mean, there are nice things about the bowl. Like, you don't get chip dust all over your hand every time you reach towards the bottom. Yeah. It's also portion control it's supposed to be. It's like, well... Yeah. You can't hear me crunching, can you? Nah. Okay, cool. And even even if I could, I don't think many people have a problem with it. Remember when I used to go I mean, to that restaurant back in the day? <laughs> oh yeah, man. Like the ASMR crunch. I still miss the crunch. Yeah, the place went uh, out of business during COVID, unfortunately. That's like legitimately really sad. Yeah. No problem. Wait, are you a taxi driver? What are you? You're a guard? I think I'm your personal guard, yeah. Kinda hard to do my job when you just leave me. I was gonna say you're not doing a very good job. Keep <laughs> up. Shall we get you on your way? Man, I've got this spicy queso. So fucking good. Spicy queso, huh? Spicy queso. That's good. well as a uh, habanero salsa. Oh, uh, man. I may feel some regret later, but Thank now, to know that you are heaven. Okay. Do spicy food. Is it the spicy food that does a number on the stomach, or is it the, the dairy? Or both? It depends. Dairy doesn't bother me that much, unless I eat, like, a huge quantity of it. Uh, spicy food is kind of give or take. Mm. Uh -oh. And I crashed. <laughs> so did I. Oh. Alright, cool. Now we're back. You need to ride somewhere else? Look 
At least there's a relatively quick recover time. Yeah. On the crash. I wonder why I can't join with keyboard. That's weird. I don't know. Like, it uh, seems so to register when I hit F2, but after that, it just doesn't crap. respond to any of my keyboards. Maybe it's a limitation of the remote play together. Like, can't use keyboard. Because that would imply that, like, you have... You're inputting keyboard controls into my computer. Right? Oh, Yeah. It could be, but... I mean, I've played keyboard with other share play but i guess i was the host for the share play that time so yeah terrible i think that count dooku was behind it count dooku was once a jedi he couldn't assassinate anyone <laughs> Master <Jedi. laughs> may i suggest that the senator be placed under the protection y'all have to find that video i was talking about the whole padme plot is basically he wants Padme dead, so he sends Dooku to kill Padme, who Dooku then sends an assassin to kill Padme, who then the assassin sell, sends a tiny droid to kill Padme, and then the tiny droid does something else, which is... It's like, it just goes layers deep. Yeah. Totally makes sense. Like Sounds the clown... Like kind of thing I'd be very entertained by, too. It's a clown car plot. Now that everyone's been reacquainted, allow us to hey. Thank you, Master Kenobi, but this seems unnecessary. I don't need more security. I need answers. I need to know who's trying to kill me. We're here to protect you, Senator. It's not to start an investigation. Six people. Well, I guess one of them isn't a person, it's more like a, a tool. We will find out who's trying to kill you, Batman. I promise you. We will not exceed our mandate by young Padawan Lev. I meant it in the interest of protecting her master, of course. Perhaps with merely your presence. This was the movie out of the re the trilogy thingy. That the middle part, I don't know, man. It just dragged her a bit. Because I tried to yeah. do the whole romance thing. I mean, I guess we did get that meme out of it. Or was that? No, that's the next movie, isn't it? Is it much farther, Master? Is mine and Padme's company boring you already, my Padawan? No, uh, of course not, Master. I, I didn't mean... We aren't far. My apartment is just up ahead. <laughs> Wrecking the place. Here we are. Shall we? Oh my... Hurt my Thank eyes. For getting me here safely. Yeah, it's a bit bright. Now, if you'll excuse me, I will retire. He's gonna iron. Huh? <laughs> I love how she just doesn't say anything. Hey, the controller didn't disconnect. <laughs> Damn, man, like... <sighs> have you tried... I mean, how bad does it get? Like, this is... Would you consider this bad? I consider it pretty bad. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing you can take. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, so this is the assassin. And then the assassin sends these droids, right? So we're at layer four now. With the robots. This is fourth layer assassin. Okay. I'm driving, you shoot. We'll stop her, Master. I promise. Great. Well, if we could not crash before doing so, I'd greatly appreciate it. Master, you need to relax. I'm a great pilot. 
You've much to learn about many things, my young apprentice, and flying is certainly one of them. Oh god, it's the reticle thing again. <laughs> I mean... I'm trying to do slow movement so you don't have to compensate too much. Yeah, you sh look before you shoot, man. Jeez. Bro. Anakin, watch out for that power coupling. Oh god. Cut the dot. <laughs> <laughs> All that fancy maneuvering just gets frickin' destroyed. Oh! I'm doing it for suspense. Don't. Oh my god. I'm playing the part like Anakin's meant to be a wild card. <sighs> I wonder if we get to kill the younglings. <laughs> You're already thinking about that. <laughs> That's the part I'm looking forward to. Oh. Yeah, I think that's me. supposed to not drive through the... No, we got shot. It wasn't that we drove through something. Man, like, that's some bullshit. It's auto lock. I mean, the way Anakin sounds in that movie, just when he's angry. Yeah. It's the reticle that's throwing me off, because I'm thinking I'm controlling it. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, yeah, <laughs> See, it's the, the sparkly green shit. Yeah, but, I, like, the problem is the reticle is, like, <laughs> causing me to look in that direction. <laughs> because I think of it as, like, I'm aiming. You okay, I gotta... I'm, I just gotta look dead center. I gotta, like, have something else be my focus. <laughs> okay, got it. Got a new focus. All right, all right, all right. Master. Well, I'm still alive, so wow, Anakin's like saying what I'm thinking. Minus the master part. Who hired you? It was a bounty hunter cop. Oh, that, no, it, that's right. Okay. Okay, this is why it's dumb. So, it's, it's even worse. It's like, Palpatine gets Dooku to kill Padme. Pa uh, Dooku gets Jango Fett to kill Padme. Jango Fett gets an assassin to kill Padme. And then the assassin releases these robots to kill Padme. Right. Like, it just keeps getting passed a lot. Oh, it just, over again. like, it just keeps, the task keeps getting handballed. <laughs> An old friend at the diner nearby. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hey. I want you to ride me. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Let Go me on. ride you like a Yoshi. Go on. Wait, what button did you press to do it? it, it the option's not coming up. Was this Y? Oh my! Well, that wasn't it. <laughs> what button did you press? I was just pressing all the buttons. Y or triangle. Oh, there we go. There, 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 there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. I can eat my honey chips. Honey oh, butter chips. chips. 
Hey, you had your chance. In episode what one. Have one. Episode one, I was driving around. I didn't have chips yet. <laughs> Classic subcontracting. Oh man, I have to find that video. Actually, while you're driving me around, I'll find the video. Ah, oh, good. No. <laughs> you purposely rhyming us. You try to use me as a weapon whilst. Don't worry about it. You're safe. Yeah, there it is. Got it. Okay. Perfect timing. All right. Don't blow your top. I'm going fast as I can. <laughs> That's next. Let's see what the problem is. You uh, caught me at a bad time. My best waitress Wanda <laughs> has blown a fuse, and I can't keep up with all these customers. <laughs> huh. Think you could help out? I'm just being a vandal. And take some orders to the right tables. I gotta fix up old Wanda. As soon as we get finished, I'm all yours. So what do you say? Oh boy. Yeah, do it. Great. All you gotta do is find you out. You mean I got off of my serving job? And take them so that I could get on this video game and if a droid help this guy run his restaurant? Sure, a Jedi can. Don't you <laughs> get away from me? <laughs> Don't you press the button. <laughs> okay, so we need to take this to someone. Where's my shot at club sandwich? My pocket meter runs out in five minutes. Oh, New Yorker. In space. Go get my photon fizzle. It's bright green. You can't miss it. Photon fizzle. Okay. Here we go. I literally can't do this. Really? Well. Oh, because you're R2D2. Because I don't have hands. You can't swap characters? Press D pad. No, D pad. Like, D pad right. Oh, you can't. It's just these two. No, there's just no one. There's no one to okay. swap to. Where's my shit? That's definitely not a Nuna drumstick. If it is, uh -oh. Yeah, this guy's the sandwich right here. So good. Which guy? This guy. Okay. Where's He's just short a cup sandwich. Hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> Looks delicious. <laughs> okay, well, I know this dude complained, and this is it. Cake. Uh oh, is okay, it this, this one? This guy's Jawa juice. Jawa juice, and this is cake. That's it. Thanks a lot. Jawa Amazing. juice. Oh, over here. <laughs> so you didn't have to. You didn't have to bust the tables. I did it. Thanks. Just like expoing. I love how you're just ruining his restaurant in the background. <laughs> Wanda took a fair bit of elbow grease, but I'm happy to say she'll be back washing tables in no time. Now, what do you want to talk about? Grab a seat and I'll be right. Tell me what this is. What you got here is a Camino saber dart. Camino, I'm not familiar with it. Is it in the Republic? No, no, it's beyond the outer rim. These uh, Camino ones. I don't like to themselves. how this dude's yeah. jowl moves. Cloners. No R4. I don't recall Camino on any of the usual charts. Let's head to the archives. Excuse me, is, is that thing stuck in that dude's ass? Here's to be so. <laughs> I've never heard of Camino. That's gone. Let's run the coordinates Dex gave us through the Jedi archives. See if we can find out more about it. It's 
So what other outlandish stuff have you been up to? Um. Aside from the bowling alley things, which... Wait, what is this? Rice? Nah, we're good. It's been like the main thing, really. The the bowling alley and the furries. Yeah, the bowling alley has brought a lot of, like, much of the chaos that was... That has been had afterwards. Including the furries, yeah. I just can't believe they bowl. Like, it's kind of impressive. Yeah, they... They figured it out somehow. Shall we get you on your way? Well, again, I think it's just core strength. Uh, I got an e-bike. That's pretty cool. Welcome to the iconic... bike like the ones that have batteries. No, yeah, like an electric bike. They're pretty neat. The uh, bowling alley I work at is really close to me, so... I used to get to, to get to work and back. Also enables me to get a little bit of exercise, which is good. Yeah, that's probably really good. I've been trying to be better about cooking. That's the thing that I've, I've been on this year. Yeah. I'm trying to get back to a better place on that, too, because... I've been eating mostly bowling alley food because I get a 50% discount, but <laughs> bowling alley food good. is essentially bar food, you know, like yeah. wings and pizza, that type of shit. I mean, I wouldn't say no to wings. Like, wings are not too bad, depending on what no, kind of wings. No, they're actually good wings, surprisingly enough. They're oh. all, like, uh, fresh and not frozen, so that really does make a difference. Okay, well, that, that does make a difference, yeah. yeah. As long as they're not, like, um, battered, then it's fine, right? Like... Yeah. It's better for you than, like, eating a bunch of red meat. Let's put it that way. For sure. Um, but this week's thing, I'm gonna, like, cook a steak for myself. So. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my roommate. Uh. Yesterday night... We went pretty hard with a bunch of tequila and wine, and uh, he just made a bunch of like super well crusted like ribeye. Oh man, That's so good. Love also, ribeye. Also, quite inebriated. <laughs> <laughs> I made. I've been making breakfast this week, so it's been my thing. So I've been doing the Gordon Ramsay eggs. Have you ever had smoked eggs? Smoked eggs? Yeah, so Can't eggs... Say I have. They're not like cooked eggs that are smoked. It's that the eggs in their shells, they're smoked. Huh. So, I mean, sounds kind of good. They are. They're actually pretty good. The story behind it is... I don't know. Something happened with the supplier at the grocery store that I go to. And they just had these smoked eggs left. And I'm like, well, I, you know, I wanted to do this thing. So I bought them, tried them, like... <sighs> the yolk is like a more of an orange color. And then, um... Yeah, they just have a smoky smell. Oh, what is this? It's, it's pretty good. And have then doing them as like, like a scramble. Thing you were talking about the other day yet? No, but I have ramen. So I, I, yeah. I, when I went to the Asian grocery, I got some ramen. Nice. So I'm gonna try it. According to Dex, Camino, I don't know what to call is, it. Kind of curious. Just I've described it to other people, but I don't know what to call it because it's, it's just I don't want to say egg mush, but that's basically what it looks like. There's nothing there. Gravity silhouette remains. But, I mean, for those curious, so, you make some instant ramen, you eat the instant ramen, and then the soup that's left over, you crack an egg into it, you whisk it, and then you put that mixture in the microwave, and it cooks, and it comes out as, like, this egg thing. I don't know how else to describe it, it's just this egg thing. Yeah, it's ramen egg. Ramen egg thing. 
It's supposedly going viral in Japan, so. <laughs> oh, man, the habanero really came through on that one. <laughs> I think that's why I, I am intrigued. I trust it. Because Japan? Because Japan, yeah. I that's trust fair. it. Oh, I just smacked Yoda in the face. I just love that, like, these robots can throw down. Ow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you leave me, die! You gotta hurry up, look at you. Okay. I thought he what was biting some chicken. No, it is. What is it? Look. I mean, he's biting it's it like, like the... yeah, like a turkey leg. Well, you can't leave me behind. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Thought that would work. Can you tell that I was an older sibling? Yeah. Now I get to know what it was what it's like. <laughs> I used to do it in Smash Brothers. I, I would play as Yoshi and just eat or like make the try to make the egg go off the edge or just be Kirby. Consume and just jump into the abyss. Yeah, Donkey Kong. Yeah, Donkey Kong. Um, the prompt is not here. Oh, you got a, a galaxy map it. I see. I learned that stuff from my cousin as well. He was like an older sibling to me, even though he was my cousin. But in yeah. Street Fighter, he just used to use one character and would just repeat the move over and over again because he knew he could beat us. So he started with Ryu, kept doing Hadouken until I learned how to counter it. Then he played as Blanca and did that electric shock thing that he does until I All learned right. to counter it. And then he started playing as Vega and he kept doing like this wall bounce claw attack thing and i think the last one i couldn't beat was like sagat where he would do like the the high and the low attack yeah right i remember that he would just be in a corner and just go high low punch high low punch my brother used to get so annoyed at it <laughs> just he he was an angry child I had a cousin like that. I watched my cousin chuck his PS2 out a window Monster once. Jedi. He chucked his... Why did he just throw his PS2 out a window? As he was angry. After like at what? Anger issues. I was beginning to think what, what game was he angry at? Of course. I can't even remember. Please he like lost at something. His order will be completed I had a I friend that... I think the standout over what we were playing was the fact that he chucked his entire console out the window. You know? Jeez. I would like to know what game caused that. I mean, with his anger yes. issues, it could have been literally anything. Yeah, okay. Is one Fair of enough. I had a friend that um broke his keyboard over a COD match. Yeah. He just said, guys, that can you hang... But he did it so calmly, he was like, guys, can you hang on a sec? And then just heard the sound, was like, what'd you do? Oh, I snapped my keyboard over my, my knee. <laughs> Todd in particular I can relate Very at least impressive. a little bit I'd hoped you so this was like you know original modern warfare days not modern yeah. card I that they are immensely superior to droids 
I'm sure that I mean, I'm no stranger to gamer rage, but when it comes to like breaking shit, that's where I'm like, okay, chill. These clothes, how old are they? Oh, yes. We use growth accelerator. And men say women are emotional. Men can be just as pissy, if not worse. I see. They are totally obedient, taking any order without question. We modify. The one thing dudes do well is just be able to just, I guess, get over something quicker. A bounty hunter called Django Fett. A bounty hunter? I would very much like to meet this Django Fett. And we can definitely get more upset, but at least that feeling of upset, at least for the most part, dissipates a little quicker. Fett demanded only one thing, an unaltered clone. That's kind of my personal strategy. Yeah. Is like, just let myself be exactly as upset as I need to be. Yeah. Even just if it's like a nuclear level, but that way I get it all out sooner and I'm over it quicker. Or at least that's the, that's the idea. The same dude, um, threw, he was eating ravioli and he threw it at a wall. <laughs> I don't hang out with him because we don't, yeah, I don't play fair. COD. I don't play COD anymore, <laughs> but, um... He was getting upset at one of my friends messing around. Guy was um, half German and half um. Damn it! What is it? Danish. Jeez. I was like, what, what did what did people from Denmark get referred to as Danish people? He was German and Dane, and um, he would just keep saying weird things in German. And so he just got annoyed at him because he was dicking around too much and not taking the match seriously. But the thing that that ticked him off was he kept saying what was like my weenin is hugin which isn't even real german right. and he yeah his response was he threw his lunch at the wall which was ravioli i was towards the end of when i stopped playing cod <laughs> yeah i mean uh thank you for your time seems a bit overboard as his reactions go yeah always a pleasure to meet a jedi I have a strong feeling that this bounty hunter is the assassin we're looking for. You'd never punish food, neither. I think I had too much of a poor upbringing to ever throw up like... Yeah. Waste you, food you like You don't that. waste food. You don't waste meat in particular. Yeah, and like ravioli? Come on. What the ravioli do to you? I've had so many people that didn't grow up that way that, um, they're like, man, you clean those bones. Like, they just, they're just amazed at how clean I live bone. Like, yeah, you don't waste meat, man. Also, is he, I just realized this, is he holding like a VHS? <laughs> Are you guarding me while she, <laughs> oh no, I'm holding this. I'm like, where, where am I? I brought this with me. It's not necessary. All right, sorry. I'm gonna pay attention to what I'm doing. Get us over here soloing freaking Jago Fed as a droid. You don't get to leave Ow. the table before the plate is empty. Yep, yep. Even if you don't like the food. I mean, I've talked about how you, I can't eat eggplant. It makes me physically ill. The two times my mom tried to give me eggplant, I had to clean that plate. It was it was horrible. <laughs> that eggplant did not go to waste. I, I ate it. It's like actually torture for you, I'd imagine. No, well, like instant gag reflexes, and then even you know how you can force yourself to eat food even if you don't like it. Yeah. it I I couldn't. Like it's the one food I just I can't. And it just made me feel ill afterwards. And I know it wasn't just like, a, oh, he's, he was just a kid and whatever. Because I bought some, funny enough, ravioli on on discount. It was like a vegetarian one. I was like, all right, I'll try it. I ate it. Within an hour, I was feeling like really sick, nauseous. And then I checked the ingredients and, yep, eggplant. Now there's no time to Jeez. Let's follow him. So it wasn't a in my mind thing. <laughs> I love that sound. 
Wait, you, you're going on the outside? Why are you going... There's a piggy. I don't know, I'm already in, man. There's a block. I'm just following the magical markers. I'll wait. Do you have any food that you can't eat no matter what? Nothing really that I've come across that I can think no? of. Hmm. No. Usually everyone has one that the, it's just the the bane of their existence if they were to eat it. Nah. There are things I haven't tried that I'm just like good. I can live forever without trying that sort of stuff. Oh yeah. No, we've definitely talked but, uh, about this before. Yeah. Like things that I feel once upon a time made sense, but now don't. Stand by. Like, yeah. You know, where my parents are from, technically they eat armadillos. <laughs> I think I In would that try region armadillo. of the world. You try armadillo. Yeah, like, for whatever reason, that doesn't bother me. Hmm. It doesn't bother me either. It's just, I, I guess... You know, it's not like they didn't have livestock or chicken. Right. Fowl, I should say. Like, what circumstances have to appear to be like, yes, we're eating this thing? I've got you now. I guess just <laughs> poverty. Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, some of the stories my parents say, it's just... They're so sad, man. But they just shrug it off. It's like, yeah, that was that was life. That's how it was. That was cozy. Oh, and cat fuse coriander. I always point to is uh, but look, never ever stop doing it. I'm good. <laughs> I have a list of things that I'll never try. And wait, guinea pig? What do you mean, guinea pig? Like eating there the guinea pig? There are places where they eat guinea pigs. Really? Yeah. It's funny that one's getting brought up specifically because that's like... I had a whole big old Reddit discussion. That's the most upvotes I've ever had on a Reddit comment is a conversation about guinea pigs. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it is. Cool, yo. That's what it's called. I just realized, yes, you're right. This, I just had a moment where it's like, oh wait, I forgot the English word for Kuyo. I don't know if it, I would say popular, but then again, I grew up in Australia, so what do I know? The one that I'll never bring myself to try is like that cheese. It's uh, called maggot cheese. It's not, I don't think it's called maggot cheese, but like that's the uh, description. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's the cheese where like you know the maggots eat it, they poop it, and then you eat what they poop out. Yeah, no, I'm good. It's a street food, so to assume it's popular. Well, I guess. I mean, I don't think I could bring myself to try so stroming or whatever, like that fermented fish. It's just because with fish, I'm already very picky. Like, for me to have fish and pick fish as something I'm going to eat, it has to be good, man. 
Yeah, I feel that. Yes, you would. I, you'd force me, force me to eat it. <laughs> That's a scary idea. I'm open to most things, just that, I don't know. It's just because it's fish. If I was ever to be in Sweden during the summer, I have to. Have you had it, Kat? <laughs> no? Then why are you telling me to have it? <laughs> like, this, uh, the person who lives in Sweden hasn't eaten it. You've smelt it? That's not the same thing. You smelt it and you're still like, yeah, no, you have to try this. EMP blast. I should have known. You smelt it for a week? If, Who hired if it's one of those things, I'm not here to play it's still not eating it. If you had to pick between smelling it for a week and eating it, which would you take? Like, how do you know you, you're even going to like it? There you are. Why don't you just give up? Man, I cannot keep up with this thing. You'd eat it, but none of your friends want to try it? Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> that says something. I mean, there's foods that, like, my parents and family members eat that involve offal, and I just don't want to try it. It's just like, eh, yeah. They say it tastes good, but uh, I don't know, man. You say awful? Yeah, awful. Yeah. We did lots of, like, small intestines and, like, large intestines and, uh... Oh, they're awful, awful. And, uh, the cream barbecue. Large intestine in particular it's looks gross, dude. Of Federation ships over there, awful. Another Just one like, I can't... Like a tube of fat. Ugh. Another one I can't bring myself to do, which a bunch of my, my co-workers are trying to get me to try. Chicken feet. Like, it's pretty popular in Southeast Asia. Yeah, I've never had chicken feet either. I think I'd try that at least once. I don't know. That doesn't bother me too much. Yes, my lord. It looks kind of gnarly. It does. Certainly. Honestly, anything that still has its full intact head. Yeah, I can't do that. I mean, fish, fish is the, uh... fish is probably the only exception. Yeah. Same. No. But Does like he have, like, a head, teddy bear? For example, I've had a couple of opportunities and I just could not bring myself nah. to do it. They were, like, trying to feed me the eyeball and shit. I'm like, nah. I'm pretty good. <laughs> so with the chicken feet, from what I've heard, it's like... Um... Uh, what, what was the description? It's like, gelatinous? But it's the way it's it's cooked. Like it's it's super soft, I guess is the word. I haven't seen you this worked up before. It can feed our. Is there a lot of sand mm -hmm. in your dream? Yes, a considerable amount. But the style that they're served. We just need oh. to get to Moss Esper. I have to make sure my mother is safe. They're like super soft. At least in that, that style. That's not what I would expect. Yeah. Big on Texas, that could be an issue. Yeah. Same. 
I mean, I might try it. The, the other one... There were two things that they tried to get me to try. One of them was the chicken feet, and the other one... Um, avocado smoothie. Which I, I can't bring myself to do that. It's just such a mental blockade thing. It's another Southeast Asian thing, but... It's like... A smoothie with avocado, and they put chocolate syrup in it. So it's avocado with, like, condensed milk... And, um, chocolate syrup. Oh. But, you know, I, I understand it, but to me, avocado is more like a mayonnaise substitute. So to me, I just can't see it as anything other than you're drinking mayonnaise. Yeah. I, it's such a mental barrier for me. Would I try haggis? I'd try haggis. It's not so different conceptually than, you know, the meat pie. I mean, I, I, eat, I eat meat pies in Australia, and most of them <laughs> they probably have some form of, like, that kind of meat in it. I mean, the cheap ones. The good ones, they actually have steak and stuff in it, if you go to a bakery and whatnot. Your dad makes chocolate milkshakes with avocado. Is the meat pie cooked and served in a lamb stomach? Yeah, it's not. It's pastry, but, I mean, sausages are, like, intestines. Just usually, right? Intestine lining. So that part doesn't bother me, because, like, sausages... They use intestines to... Yeah. I think it's fine. Like, I, I can get around that mental barrier. Sausage delish, but the image of haggis. I mean, if you serve the slice of it, like if you don't see the whole thing and you serve the slice, I, don't, I think you can get around it mentally. Yeah, where's Seth when you need him? <laughs> yeah. I've never had the opportunity to try haggis, but I think I would. Yeah. I don't think I'd have a problem with that. Wow, that's a fancy outfit. Blood pudding? Nah. That's one of those things, just blood. Just, mm, nah. I've had blood sausage and was not really a fan. Yeah, I've tried it. Not, not a fan. Just the me the metallic taste. I just I don't know. I think I'm too sensitive to it. Annie, look at you! You're all grown up now. Oh my God! Can I interest you in a T26 transistor for your pod, Annie? <laughs> Long away from here. Head out to the desert and look for moisture evaporators. <laughs> You'll find them. Okay. Blood pudding with potatoes and lingonberries, standard Swedish dish. I'm gonna try the rest of it. I don't know about the blood pudding. It's just, I don't know, the things that I've had that involve blood, there's just this metallic taste to me, and it, I just, that's the thing. Yeah, I pretty much couldn't get past it for the same reason. Yeah. The first time I tried it was like in fur, and it just wasn't great. It's one of the things that I could try, but I can almost guarantee I, I won't like it. I can get you where you need to be. You know, eggplant is the one thing that it's just a hard no every time. It's 
another one of these somewhere. I think I found the other one. Oh, you found the other one? Alright, uh, just yeah. head to my marker. Oh, you're there. Just here. Yep, in there. Bless you. I will take this to the Senate so that we can discuss it for weeks. Then take no real action. Alright, it's like this. Vegemite is like a super Australian thing, but I would never be like, Oh no, you have to try to eat Vegemite, mate. Yeah. Hey, you did. Wanna get set by cells on the planet? Well set. Drive safely. I have heard putting Vegemite in fur is like good. Supposedly using it more like a like a way to add umami taste is better than yeah. having it the way Australians have it. There's a lot of example of Vegemite cooking. They've kind of embraced that. They have recipes. Got more interesting stuff like kangaroo meat. Yeah. No, the kangaroo meat is good. I do find it amusing that, like, Australia's culinary... Um, it's not... You wouldn't expect that, you know... We have a lot of uh, culinary stuff. I'm, I, I can't speak properly right now. Culinary stuff. I mean, people make fun of the UK for not having much of a culinary culture in terms of foods. And they think Australia is kind of the same, but that's not. Hey, look what we have here. Do you want to try and solve this again? <laughs> What? That thing with the engineer. You feel uh, attacked. Come on, you've heard it. You would have heard it at least once. Hey, I, I like stuff from the UK. I'm not complaining. But the, the sentiment is like people make fun of it. Yeah, there. <laughs> you, want, you want to try to solve it? Australia is so close to old ass countries with techniques and spices, the UK had to invade countries to salt their potatoes. I think the, the best thing I heard about was like the UK did the whole spice route thing to not use spices at all in their cooking. The national dish is like curry at this point. And it's not even theirs. Figured it out? Yeah. <laughs> There's got to be a way, man. Okay. Should we look this up? to that point. <laughs> okay. I want to know what this is. This is going to bother me. It's going to bother me too. Um, let me go Star Wars Engineer. There's such a generic search that I can't actually find it. Oh, here we go. Abilities and tool. How do you use scavenger abilities and tools? How to unlock scavenger tools. 
You will need to progress. Okay. Well, I think we need a specific tool that you unlock. Okay. You're, uh, no, you're already there. I mean, if you can do it, do it. Yeah, Australia's just become a melting pot in terms of food, so. Like, one of the cooler things I've seen, um, they do a katsu sandwich, but with, um, scallop. It's pretty legit. 3PO? The maker. Master Annie, I knew you would return. Owen Lars. Is my mother here? No, she's not. Shmi is my wife. She was about halfway home when they took her. A hunting party of Tuscan raiders. I like that more. Europe has to wait for when trends like Korean food has. To find my mother. The past five years only got more available? Oh, man. You may not like what you find. Not here. I don't care. Just think of any country you can get food for it, pretty much. I really do think you should come on, 3PO. And because of our proximity to Southeast Asia, like, just have a lot of chains here. I, I sense something this way. That, um, yeah, they're popular in Southeast Asia, like, bubble tea in particular. You're a donkey. It's, that's a fucking... A sand mm. person, man. Oh. <laughs> a Tuscan Raider. I wonder if they sample donkeys. Mom? Like, right now, I'm snacking on honey butter chips, because they're readily available. Why couldn't I save her? We probably had kimchi, berber tea, and all the other trendy food just a long time before they started trending. Yeah. My long-range transmitter has been knocked out. Retransmit this message to Coruscant. I mean, now it's, it's more everywhere, but, I mean, before... You just went to certain suburbs, and you got them very easily. I mean, we have Daiso open here as well, like, it's a really nice thing. Um, there's like, some Korean fried chicken chains here, now. The one that I've been waiting for is, um, oh, what's the name of that? That Filipino chicken. Forget the name of it. Jollibee. Jollibee? Yeah, Jollibee. Yeah. Jollibee is fire. Bro. They're talking about opening that here. I can't wait. Jollibee is certified. Yeah. No, that. The, that. And like, every, not only just the chicken, too, but like the. Uh, Everything they do, yeah. The spaghetti, all of it. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I'm down for that. We just got a Jolly Bee on Maui before I left. Oh man. Now I have to drive like an hour. At least it's available. True. They launched KFC in Sweden, but it didn't go well, so now they're only at airports. That's wild to me. I mean, I'm sure you have fried chicken, but just, there's no KFC. You haven't tried there yet? Jollibee? Oh man, if it's available, you should try it. 
But yeah, then we still get like stuff like Nando's here. That's what I, I like about here is we got the Western stuff. We get American stuff, we get British things, and we get stuff from Asia. It's awesome. You don't have a specific chain, but most places have some sort of fried chicken. Then I can survive in Sweden. Apparently I can't play as him. <laughs> Nando's is a South African chain for Portuguese chicken. Yeah. And it's great. <laughs> Though lately it's gotten pretty expensive. I haven't gone in a while, but it's it's good. <laughs> Ozzy here from Melbourne. Hey, welcome. Sorry if I butcher your name, but, you know, I'll just say Vida. <laughs> You're alright? Oh wait, that's not you. Dude, the bots... <laughs> look, look what's happening to the bots. They keep jumping in the poison lake. Why the... Aren't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> All right. I played any of the other LEGO games. Uh, a long time ago I played the other LEGO Star Wars game. Very long time ago. But I picked this up because it was cheap and, you know, the whole May 4 thing. But it's kind of just become almost podcast-like or just talking. <laughs> I was playing it on my own and turned it into a co-op thing. Which it's worked out better. Yeah. These conveyor belts will surely move. Gee, I wonder how I'm going no to glitch this fight. Whatsoever. <laughs> no technical issues. No issues at all. No controllers disconnecting, no cameras getting locked. Of course not. No crashes, yeah. Still. Whoa, camera. Jeez. Great timing, you 
too? Can you start up those power oh, great, now we're droids. Alright, so I can just punch. Wait, can I do can I do <laughs> I can still do this. I don't know man, it's just like that's his power. Just Oh, this looks like a low clearance. Allow me. Mind, uh... You know. Uh, what am I? Uh, am I supposed to be building something? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I was too busy detaching myself. <laughs> How old am I? I love that you can't do anything. <laughs> it's just doomed to wait. Pretty exciting. Is she speaking a made up language? Master Anakin, you will have to I am straight chilling, bro. Anakin. Can you pass the charge between the cells? Uh. Go on. Pass the charge, man. I just have it on whatever settings the game does by default. I haven't changed a thing other than the part where it's like, hey, we're going to collect some data if you don't want us to do it just opt out sorry right. if the game's doing weird things it's just me when i play games they seem to do strange things that they're not supposed to <laughs> so am I just like am, am I just out out of out of the action? If so. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I guess I'll have to do right, like some this. some entertaining footage. Really? Man. Do you know what's funny is like, I can unironically see this being a genuine line in a Marvel movie. I think you have to do a thing here. I have to do a thing? Like, the camera, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's doing that thing again. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, there. Okay. See, now you have to wait. That one didn't have anything in it. There we go.
But do I need to ride it? Hmm, what am I missing here? Oh. Just break it! <laughs> it says use and then like this happens. <laughs> okay, uh Straightforward enough. Oh, okay, that is up to you. <laughs> I'm just, um, I'm helping. Oh, god damn it, I thought I was gonna. Okay, well, I'm heading to a new destination now. Supposed to get over there. Avoid that burning furnace. Why did it bring me here? Yeah. It might be like that late at night where my brain is starting <laughs> to like do the wrong yeah. thing. I'm getting a little bit of that, but not too much yet. Okay, I'm not going crazy. Alright, markers go this way. Okay, wants me to go there. Go across. And then the marker moves over here! I see that. Tight. Yeah, that wasn't going to work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Oh! Because you're doing something. I have to wait. All right. Yeah. All I'm right. doing shit now. It's my turn. Yeah, I'm just a dumbass. Where is your oh, shit. I think you're still doing things because this barricade is still up for me. Okay. Oh, wait. No, but that one's money, down. Money, All right. No, no, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. I figured it out. <laughs> it's just this camera swap. Look. It was just showing me where to go, but there was no way to go there. Find the way out of the factory, all right. Hmm. 
unless I can't actually do anything here. There seems to be a lot of this, like, just waiting for the other player to do something. Yeah. It's teamwork. Shit. You got it. <laughs> you don't got it. Hmm. <laughs> Where's the? <laughs> it keeps. Yes, it keeps this thing, the the grapple. Grapple, grapple. Bro. <laughs> Children's game. <laughs> oh, this is this is just this is just like the Darth Maul fight where I just couldn't I couldn't get away from it. I swear to God. <laughs> I just, okay. <laughs> Come on, you got this, man. Come on, you got this. <laughs> you got this. Spam it. Just keep spamming that. A <laughs> <I> dude. <laughs> Like, this is stream of the year. <laughs> the unfortunate thing is we can't swap characters, so I can't do it for you. You're just gonna have to do it. I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> hey! Oh my God. Hey! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh my, you know what? <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even want to talk about it. I literally am not even going to talk about that. Oh dear. Snow. Hey, uh, you gonna build the other side? Listen, man, I'm a little bit traumatized here. Did you ever see that animated gif of the dude? Attacking like this glass chamber with a sledgehammer and it's just looping and it feels like he's gonna break through but he just never does That's what it was like Is that an anime? No, like an animated gif Oh Not anime What anime is that? It's sledgehammer That's man terrible. You know how they have chainsaw man? Now they have sledgehammer man I'd watch it Hey, guess what? Do you see? Do you do you do you see? Do you see? <laughs> uh. Any chance you could save me? There isn't much to do in here. Ugh, analog sticks, please. It's a little unintuitive how that moves. Uh. Don't move, Jedi. 
Uh-oh. Take them away. Missile propose. Emergency powers God. to the Supreme Chancellor. This is why people think he's a Sith. With this new authority, is a sorry. I recreate a grand army of the Republic <clears throat> to counter the increasing threats of the Separatists. I will take what Jedi we have left and go to Geonosis and help Obi-Wan. Visit? I will. The cloners aren't coming. That just uh, looks wrong. Yoda looks a bit cursed. Yeah. <laughs> just a texture on it. Uh, a little cursed. We should hurry and get to Geonosis. Obi-Wan may be in real trouble. Hey, I'm Windu. This guy. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Is his name Kit Fisto? <laughs> Kit Fisto. That can't be real. Pretty sure that's his actual name. Where you traveling to today? Hope you find what you're looking for physically and emotionally. Where are, these, where, where are they even getting this character from? He was the other dude. The other dude? Like, there are a few Jedi that went after Palpatine when uh, they find out the truth about him, and he was one of them, pretty sure. Mm. My huh. programming is making me announce I have new hits. There, now you know. Did you just hop in... I don't know what this thing is, but I like it. Yeah, they give all these cool vehicles, but then I guess if you're following the story, you can't really do much with them. Yeah. I can appreciate the kind of like overworld type deal they made, though. Yeah. It's little puzzles and cool things. I mean, that's fun. But I was definitely going to play through this in a casual sense and not try and do everything. I just no, kind of sure. experience the stories, you know? I think trying to figure out that one engineer puzzle alone was enough <laughs> for me to make that decision. I'm just happy that, like, the big moments in the movies have caused grief for us. And it's just funny. It's like, Loki yeah. become like a Family Guy special. It wouldn't be me and you playing a game if there weren't some kind of issue. <laughs> At least once. <laughs> oh man, the controller prompt, that was... I, I had to mute myself about. a couple of times because it just made me laugh so hard. <laughs> Because just the timing on it, you just can't make it up. I'm not interested in getting into. But good, like it's been a while. You've kept the controller perfectly still. Don't say that, man. <laughs> Wait. Wait, did we see this already? Solution. Uh, maybe. Hey, guess what? We're doing the factory. Bro. <laughs> we already <laughs> did this. Well, there goes that plan. Care to? I want to do it again. Solve this one. <laughs> Didn't it lead us here? The way we do it. Didn't it lead us here? I don't know. You're Hang the on. one that hit the prop. Uh, am I like having a conniption here? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> how do you why? how do you how do you leave this area? Quit level. Yes. 
Did you just put us into the same instance we already went into? I don't know. The, your heart sunk into your stomach when I did that. Hey, Lelo, you want you want to grapple? You want to learn how to grapple? And he... There we go. Completed the level. It's as easy as that. Oh. But now, now we're fine. Now, I don't know what happened. <laughs> now we're... Take them down before they can report back to their map. I feel like I'm having a stroke sometimes. <laughs> Just wait until Risk of Rain 2 gets its update. Yeah. At least I am well familiar with the kind of shit that happens in that game by now. Yeah, this, so it says... Is this correct, or am I... It's point- it's saying go here, right? Yeah, this is- yeah. Okay, this so is now right. let's see what I happens. Think. Okay. Yeah, see, no, yeah, see, yeah. <laughs> we decided to come and rescue you. <laughs> but now it's someone else again. Hey, Cat, when Lelo was missing the grappling hook, was it as bad when I was playing Detroit Become Human and I couldn't find, um, Luther? Just like, relax. Concentrate. What about Patton? She's it felt like one of those moments. Aha! Good job. Really, this time. That was worse. Damn. the shit out of it. I still feel the rage when you think about it. <laughs> yeah. What was it? It was late. So I played Detroit Become Human. Uh, and I kind of got really into it. So it became really, really late at night. And by the end of it, like, my brain was just gone. And so there's this part where um, one of the characters, he's leading you to through an right. escape sequence and then you know he says quick in here so i in my brain at that point kept thinking that i still had to keep following him and i lost track of him and beforehand like people were saying don't let him die particularly cat so i was trying to do my best to not let him die because what ended up happening was that the, the guy got shot in the knee so i was trying to be like well in what direction did he go and i spent like half an hour trying to figure this out and the answer was just keep going forward, he'll catch up. <laughs> and Kat was at the point where she was about to call me on Discord to yell at me. <laughs> Kat, it was it was 3.30 in the morning. I was a brain gone. He said in here, and the sequence was me following him for the past five, ten minutes. So I thought I had to keep following him, and when he didn't appear... <laughs> brain was gone. It was a moment of just, like... I may as well have been drunk at that point. Sometimes... being drunk... shit has overlap with not sleeping. It was definitely dumb of me, but I, w I want people to understand why it happened. <laughs> I was dead fucking tired. I will not debate that it was probably one of my, my dumbest moments ever, but understand where it came from. You ass! Oh, 
large claws you have. I'm Feels on like a, animal abuse. I'm on its back. Master Ringu, how pleasant of you to join us. This party's over. Oh yeah. Brave. See, like, seems like this in the actual series were pretty cool. Yeah. Like the sat piece was really cool. All the Jedi showing up and shit. And um, Grievous, General Grievous, was really cool. Yeah, Grievous was awesome. But then you got the whole oh, misa, misa, do da, 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 da. It is already begun. What's the opinion on Dune? Recently watched the second one, then you were beyond confused about the story the entire time. Even though you'd watched the first one. I haven't seen the second one, but I get the feeling I should watch both back to back if I'm gonna watch the second one. Just because enough time has passed that I probably don't remember. I really enjoyed the first one. I haven't seen I mean, the second one either, though. I, I thought the cinematography was cool. Well, he's up against it's just, uh, I don't know. I haven't formed an opinion about it. Need to rewatch the first one before the second one. Alright, noted. I still need to check out that show you recommended. I did, um, one evening put it on. Like, just to see what it was, because I had no idea what it was. And, um... Then I saw, oh no, this is going to be, like, very dramatic, and, um... It's lengthy. So, I, I, that, that night I just wasn't feeling like something serious. <laughs> I needed a laugh. So, I didn't end up watching it. But I... I am intrigued. What show was that? Three Body Problem. On Netflix. Ah. I'm just killing the little droids. Just to stop them. Alright, Django, let's dance. Oh, he's one of these. <laughs> he keeps running away. It's so annoying. Can... I'll try and lead him to you. Where's he at? It takes more than fireworks and a jetpack to defeat a Jedi. You tell him, Master Windu. Yeah. All it takes is electricity. Whoa, whoa, okay. That thing just appeared in my face. Yeah, the auto deflect thing just happens. It's like okay, I've been playing difficult games lately, like getting a mental break before I do something new is good. <laughs> Whoa! Holy shit, cat. Cat's like fitting that Lelo plays the character with a dickhead. You wanna fuck? You wanna go? I don't think she's calling you a dickhead. It's just like you know your name being after a, a dildo brand. <laughs> oh, so damn. I think that's what she means. Yeah, it's it's a dildo joke, not that you're a dickhead. <laughs> Did you see that clip? By the way, like, we we're playing Stardew, and we were just reminiscing about things, and she called you Lolly. What? <laughs> Lolly. Why do you always do this to me, Cat? It was funny, because we had talked, we, we had talked, like, recently, and at that point you were like, you're just afraid Cat's gonna pop up and give you a new nickname, and then she did just that. <laughs> yeah, I called it. 
<laughs> yeah, she didn't mean to see, but sometimes we can have slip of the tongue, slip of the mind, and just things happen. Uh, accidents, right? Like, slip you call Lelo mind. Lolly, and I uh, just can't see this dude in a video game. Le and Lelo can't grapple onto a beam for like 15 minutes. We all, we all have faults. <laughs> the worst part about that grappling onto that pole is that I never needed to in the first place. <laughs> That's what really, really drove it into uh, <laughs> my soul. It's, uh, yeah, it's because it's like, there's a prompt. It's... It's not that that's what you had to do, it's just, yeah, you can do that if you want. I just assumed that I had to do it because I kept seeing the prompt. But did you see when I went to do it how it was just instant? Yeah, but that was what you were supposed to do. But it's still a grapple. It's the same action. It's not like my grapple was any different. Okay, granted mine was stationary, but still. It also worked. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Like it gave you the actual prompt you needed to do it. We're getting we're getting there. We're almost at the end of the movie. We must follow Dooku into that stronghold up ahead. Padme, she we have a job to do, Anakin. What do you think Padme would do if she were in your position? I mean this movie should have been a massive red flag for Obi-Wan, you know? Get up there, master. There will be something in that wreckage we can use. Come. Just, hmm. Anakin is acting a little bit um, aggressive and, hmm. Seems to be a bit of a wild card. Seems just a bit angry. This way, but we took a direct hit. Knocked us out of the sky like a sack of Corellian spuds. This gunship isn't much use now, so if you need it for parts or Jedi business, help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what was that? Just yawning, I don't know. <laughs> I thought you were gonna break into that song. Like, I'm scat, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're trapped. <laughs> Wait a minute, we're gonna fight him with the shark? Okay. That would have been funny. I would have enjoyed that. It is imperative that Dooku does not escape. We can worry about our exit later. Yes, Master. Which way shall we proceed, Master? It matters not. So long as we reach Dooku before he flees the planet. Ooh, ooh, child, things gonna get easier. <laughs> okay, so I mean, it says here. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta find the thingies. The thingies? There we go. Oh, I see. Bingo, bongo. I got tickets to the Iron Maiden, baby. Oh, shit. If he asks, it was like that when we got here. Understood? Oh, we lowered. Welcome to the jungle! We got fun and games! The tickets to Iron Man! Shh! I can't do that bit. That's impressive how you can do that. Shh! Oh, that's not a good one. Oh, that's. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty impressive. Oh, Jesus. 
<laughs> okay, I died to a boulder? <laughs> I just saw that thing just slowly envelop you. Was uh, this fucking Barony? Oh, uh, shit. You ever played Barony? No, I haven't. Uh, it's one of those games that you need. I don't know whether or not you'd enjoy that game or not. Multiple people it's very, game. Like, difficult. It's like Lethal Company. I would love to play that, but I don't have anyone to play it with. I mean, Barony's not like necessarily like required to play with other people, but it is better with other but people. That's what, I got, that's what I was going to say. It's better. Yeah. This is the right way. I can feel it. Feeling too. I'm so slow. Sorry, that's just you. It's very dark in here. Wise move, master. <laughs> okay. Damn. Did you see what happened with Helldivers too? Remember, what about it? Keep your head. So, they had this whole thing where um, they had optional linking of the PSN account. Uh -huh. And then apparently Sony changed some policy and required developers to update that, so then it's required. So long story oh, short, right. they were like, you will lose access to the game on PC unless you link to a PSN account. Which, scummy to begin with, but then there are some countries where you can't set up a PSN account, and then places like the UK where you have to actually provide an ID to get a PSN account. It's just, yeah. it's, it's a massive shit show. It's gone to, from overwhelmingly positive, uh, the last time I checked, it was like mostly negative. Oh. That's and, really a bummer for them, man. They were yeah. doing really well. And the community managers, they mishandle it as well. They were like trying to downplay it and then kind of got snarky about the whole situation. Um, it's unfortunate for the developer. Like, it's not their fault. It's a Sony thing. But then it was not handled well by the community managers. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I mean, the, the managers did apologize. Because, understandably, it's like a super stressful situation. But it was definitely a misread on that part. Fight us yourself, Dooku. Or are you tired already? Instead the worst gaming users the escape from Tarkov. What what happened with that one? Yeah, that was really bad. What's that one? Enlighten me. So long story short, basically Tarkov has this edition called Escape from Darkness Edition. Mm hmm Which basically it gives you some advantages in game, but the main thing is that it promised all future DLC would be available to anyone who bought that edition. Okay. And so this edition is like a hundred dollars or a little bit over it, right? It's like a it's a price. And so they <laughs> Sorry, that pipe they messed me up. Yeah, I got it. Uh, so Yep, keep going. But yeah, so they came out recently with a with a new update. It essentially was like a like a single player not online mode and PvE mode. And they refused they basically tried to charge people for it another a hundred so dollars. And for anybody who doesn't have the darkest edition, it'd be like two hundred thirty dollars. But the main thing was people with the uh people with the um with the Darkness Edition, we're still being forced to pay for it because they were trying to claim that the new content was not DLC. Uh... Yeah. That, that was like, um, the, the whole thing where, you know, what was it? That dude from Diablo was saying, you know, you won't pay for, for loot. And then he was saying, what, gems aren't loot, technically. Yeah, it's pretty scummy. Yeah. 
It's super scummy. And so, as you can imagine, people were pretty angry. Yeah. And then they respond to the hate, we're sorry you feel that way, but we don't count this as a DLC because blah blah blah. Right, doubling down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Last I heard, he gave a little bit of ground and gave them a discount on it, but still. Like, That's still not what was agreed on. Yeah. It's still very much them just breaking their promise. Yeah. There's no way around it. The game just community is stressing that other companies bullshit. are going to go for these high prices. Yeah, I mean, there's already talk about there's already talk about that. I mean, the new baseline is um is a lot higher now. I've had enough of this mild interruption. Yeah, I mean, we're already seeing like seventy dollar games. Did you baseline. see that? That interview with, um... Oh, the dude that... That left Blizzard Activision was, was, like, the CEO for a bit. He was saying that, um... People should be able to tip... Game studios. What? Yeah. Like... Not even, like, how, um... PoE does it, where it's, you know... You, you have the supporters edition. No, it's just, like, straight up give money to the studio. Because, oh, you paid $90 for a game, and then you feel like the game was worth more than $90. Because yeah, he had that good a time. Tip culture going on. Oh, dude, tip culture. I thank my lucky stars that it's just not something here. Yeah. You should. It's terrible, let me tell you. You still have. No one wins. Yeah. Customer doesn't win. The employee doesn't win. Oh, the, the companies win. The big companies win. Yeah. I guess in the short term, yeah. I mean... But I would make an argument that even they don't win in the long term. Well, they do because they're, they're subsidized employees. Right, but... Yeah. And they make the amount of money where it's like, if they have to tip, it doesn't matter. They have fuck you money. Yeah, it's just it's just an excuse for them to not pay little wages. Yeah. Like, all it becomes is just hardworking people guilt-tripping one another to make ends meet. Yeah. And being angry at each other instead of being angry at the companies that don't pay them enough. Definitely right about that. Um. Where is it? What the heck happened there? Oh, there. <laughs> it bothers me that Yoda is like the same height as them. <laughs> He's not tiny. What the hell? I, I, I don't know what's going on. Okay. I think it was like having a hard time forcing us into a scripted event. Thought well you have. My old Padawan. This is just the beginning. What is he loading onto it? <gasps> Anakin. Are you okay? Here, let me give you a hand. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Welcome home, Lord Tyrannis. You have done well. I have good news for you, my lord. War has begun. 
Excellent. Everything is going as planned. I love how he says everything is going as planned, and this is the next scene that appears. <laughs> it's like, yes. Soon the young Skywalker will marry. Hey. All right. Cool. We did it. <laughs> Got there in the end. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, I, looking at the scores, it <laughs> kind of did abysmally. We, we did way better here. Somehow. I think I think the problem at this point is just some of the puzzles we just kind of let go. We're like, nah. <laughs> yeah, we just kind of stopped doing all the weird side puzzles pretty much entirely. Yeah. Alright, this yeah, this scene looks really cool. Alright. Um, cool, man. Well, I think uh, I'm going to stop playing Star Wars now, but if you do want to do more of this, let me let me know. I'll yeah, be down to do I'm, the rest uh, of them. Pretty free for the upcoming weeks, so if you have more time when you're streaming and you want to just put some more of this in the um, game. Yeah, I mean, I know, like, at this hour, it's pretty late, so, I don't know, if you pop in, you can, like, pivot to it. Cause I, For sure. I got, like, a uh, couple of weeks before, like, the next big thing, which is uh, Thousand Year Door. Paper Mario, nice. so, I needed some filler content. For sure. Alright, man, well, uh, thanks for playing. And, yeah, man. yeah, it was good catching up as well. Definitely. The GG's. GG. Alright, well, this is where Star Wars is going to end. Um, but yeah, if Lelo is down, we'll do more of it. Um, if you guys have been enjoying it as well. Hopefully you have. I know at times it may have been chaotic. <laughs> God damn it. You just had to get one more in there. Um, anyway, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you do want to support the channel, you can do things like click the like button, subscribe, or you can watch me do other things by clicking one of those videos that pop up at the end there. Uh, but yeah, expect more of this sometime soon.